What? I'm tired. Did you know on this channel I've made more than 100 videos on English grammar, English vocabulary, English pronunciation, and I think I'm entitled to a break with a good book and a nice cup of English tea. Now, I've got an interesting statistic for you. Did you know that in 1968, only 3% of British households used tea bags as opposed to loose tea? And now it's the opposite. 96% of tea in the UK is made with tea bags. Now, this is a disaster, a catastrophe, almost as bad as Brexit. Now, whatever happens to the art of making a great cup of tea, we are a proud tea drinking nation. Uh, now, let me tell you, you cannot, you cannot make great tea from a tea bag. So how did this happen? Well, the truth is, while the quality of coffee is going up in the UK, the quality of tea has been going down, which might explain why Britain is now officially a coffee drinking country, not a tea drinking one. That's right, we drink a lot more coffee than tea. Now, don't get me wrong, I love coffee too. I have at home an Aeropress, I have a French press, a mocha machine. Everybody knows, everybody knows that freshly brewed coffee tastes better than instant coffee. It requires a little bit of extra effort, but it's worth it. I'm sure you agree, most people would agree with that. But when it comes to tea, most people, especially in England, they still use tea bags, just hot water, tea, easy convenient like instant coffee but the taste is shall we say pretty mediocre so today we're going to look at how to make a tasty wonderful refreshing life enhancing cup of tea follow the steps in this video and i promise you a perfect brew every time so stay tuned So, to make a good cup of tea, you will need good tea, good water, a good tea set, and, if you're using it, good milk. Now, first of all, use good quality tea. I've got some Twinings English breakfast here, which is a good, robust black tea. By the way, I'm not sponsored by twinings or anything it's just a, a brand I like and it goes well with milk you could also use Assam tea or Ceylon tea but if you're using a flavor tea such as Earl Grey then I'd recommend having it without milk certainly if you want to appreciate the subtlety of the flavor but English breakfast is made to be taken with milk, so that's what I'll be doing today. And as I said, for the best tea, never use tea bags. Tea, like people, needs to be free, and you'll get a much better tasting cup of tea. And another reason, another reason for not using tea bags is environmental. It is estimated that in Britain alone, 370,000 tonnes of tea bags are thrown out each year. And although the tea is organic and biodegradable, the tea bags are not. They are bleached and they are sealed with a strip of heat resistant polypropylene plastic. Now, next, let's have a look at the water. Now, this is of the utmost importance. According to Chinese tea scholar Lu Yu, 
the best water for making tea comes from a mountain stream and the second best is river water well I currently live in Paris mountain streams a bit thin on the ground as for river water well I'd sooner not use water from the Seine if you don't mind so if you do live near a mountain stream good for you if not you'll have to find an alternative and here in Paris as in London where I come from the tap water is perfectly fine to drink from a health point of view however for a perfect cup of tea I prefer to to use filtered water as improves the taste of the water and thereby the tea now the filter I use is a piece of charcoal called bincho tan which is how the Japanese filter their water you could use bottled water depending on the quality of the water where you are you could use tap water but I don't use bottled water because I prefer not to use too much plastic better for the environment this is good environmental solution next the milk I've got a jug of fresh milk here fresh milk from the cow from the chilled section of the grocery do not use UHT or long life milk it will ruin the taste of the tea better to go without it entirely if you've got that fresh milk now for the tea set you should use a ceramic teapot and tea cup not metal and if you really want to enhance the flavor of the tea never wash your teapot with soap okay so let a layer of tea form on the inside you can do it with the cup as well this disgusts people but it's only tea it's only tea it won't make you sick and this is what our grandparents used to do to enhance the flavor of the tea and believe me it does make a difference so now we have everything ready let's make the tea so for a robust black tea like English breakfast you can use pretty much boiling water anything between 96 and 100 degrees centigrade is okay of course you would use a lower temperature if you're using oolong tea or green tea but we're not doing that today so use two grams of tea for each hundred grams of water and I'm not measuring it precisely here so put it into the teapot and there you are approximately let's pull the water that's enough now we wait we wait for six minutes to get a good strong cup of tea. Good things come to those who wait. And now the moment of truth, the tea. There we are. Let's pour that. Now you can add milk. Should the milk go first or last? Well, frankly, this is a big debate, but frankly, it doesn't make any difference really. It just tastes the same. Uh, give it a stir. Add sugar if you want. By the way, I don't use a strainer. Some people use a strainer because they fear of getting some tea leaves in the tea, but not going to kill you if, if they do but don't worry about that and 
taste that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is a real cup of tea. That is good tea. That is delicious. It's strong. It's full of flavour. A perfect cup with real depth to it. Okay, that's it. Hope you uh, found that useful. You're going to now go out and enjoy some, some good real tea and see you next time. That's good, that's good tea, that is good tea, that is good.